Carolyn here from PlaceYourFuture.co. So today I've got Carolyn joining me. Hey, Carolyn. Hi, Amanda. Hey, guys, we have a really exciting video. It's how to live in the end of constant communication. So, I mean, this video is really for anybody that is confused about how to live in the end. We're going to talk about the difference of living in the end of what you want and living in the end of rejection. So even though we're focusing on a success story of one of Carolyn's clients about how they got into communication, um, you know, the examples that we talk about, about how to live in the end of what you want can be applied to any one of your situations. So, so, yes, before we dive into it, guys, Carolyn's having a sale on her coaching up to 50% off right now. Check out the link in the description below, as well as which really ties into this. Well, she's got two hypnosis tracks, which are really, really good. We've got a deep guided relaxation to overcome rejection and manifest a self good self concept, as well as how to manifest a long lasting committed relationship hypnosis track. So I really love hypnosis, guys. Carolyn is a hypnosis therapist as well as an NLP practitioner um, just like myself and yeah we're really excited about that and guys if you haven't already heard we do have a free course create the relation or no um, how to find your blocks to manifest anything fast link is in the description completely free it's going to help you to be able to build up your mental diet to your mental diet being living in the end of what you want because our thoughts really truly do create throughout the day and one last thing if you guys would like any help we do have a manifestation journal on amazon link is in the description definitely check it out i think it's great it's helped me manifest and a lot of our clients manifest a lot of things so definitely check it out so yes i'm excited i'm excited for this success story <laughs> Yeah, so this is a client who called me with a an SP in a different country. So the the relationship was based on the communication, and when she called, she was quite desperate because she hadn't heard from him and um, wasn't sure if she would again. So we worked on affirm you know affirmations, uh, being self confident, you know, being confident, knowing that of course he was missing her. Of course, he, he, you know, that's what he wanted. He wanted to talk to her, and he was feeling also safe contacting her. You know, we we have to kind of open the field on both sides, um, and then. The reason why I asked you, so did you did you text him? So no, I, I'm afraid. Of course, it's always the same story. Anxiety. We are afraid of rejection. So we had to calm her down, feeling safe. You know, having this communication, and then beyond that, feeling it's natural. You don't question yourself when you text your best friend, right? you want to text your best friend you you go ahead you say pretty much whatever you want and you're not even afraid of the reaction because even if it's a reaction that is not wanted you you know you can say whatever you need to say and the communication goes back and forth smoothly so when you are in that state of feeling natural about communicating you are dissolving all the resistance when you feel anxious thinking oh my god i don't know if i should text oh my god what if he's going to be mad if he receives my text is it a good time am i going to annoy him or her sp <laughs> um you create right there an, an obstacle because you create resistance so we had the session we you know worked on some affirmations for receiving the communication she felt really good she was calm she continued with her affirmation within hours throughout the night she got communication from him which by the way was highly satisfying and that was uh, another affirmation that we were adding to uh to our list now neville says you know assume the state of the wish fulfill what does it mean in this situation is that you are you become the person with whom it's natural to to communicate it's natural for you to send out your text it's natural for you to receive the communication so you have to see yourself in this and scene where you know you come you just it's just natural it becomes second nature 
And this is how you're going to dissolve you, all your obstacles uh, and your resistance. This is how you have the flow of our affirmation come, um, communication coming through. Yeah, you know, and if you're not someone who visualizes like myself, um, you know, to get in the state and the end scene, it's your thoughts that bring you there. Okay. It's your thoughts. So like, for instance, right. If your thought is, well, he doesn't know what I'm, mi he's missing. Okay. Or my SP doesn't know what they're missing. I'm a great person. Well, is that thought coming from the end of being in a relationship with them? Or is that coming from the end of rejection? So when you have your thoughts in line with the state of the wish fulfilled of being in a relationship with that person, then you're not going to have anxiety texting them. You're not going to be fearing rejection because your thoughts are going to be like, he wants to hear from me or she wants to hear from me. They love talking with me. In fact, every time I think about texting them, they text me first. So you want to shift yourself into those thoughts and those thoughts will create your end fulfilled because luckily we have built in visualization. Our subconscious mind will automatically make a picture out of any thought, any voice, any words that you whisper in your head or say out loud, your subconscious mind will automatically create a picture for you. So use your thoughts to get you into that state. Like we were talking about earlier, um, Carolyn made an excellent point. You know, when we text our best friend or we think about our best friend texting us, we don't have any anxiety. We're not scared to do it. So that's the same state we want to be in when it comes to RSP to be able to manifest the communication from them we want to be in that comfortable like oh yeah we talk all the time this is natural right <laughs> yes you you can just kind of uh copy and paste the state you are when you are with your talking to your best friend you are you just just it's normal it's natural it's who you are uh of course you don't worry once you send a text whether your best friend is going to respond right away or n the next day or maybe even next week because that person is there to stay. So you can kind of imagine what it's like again when you do this with your best friend and feel that state, bring your uh, SP down his pedestal because he doesn't or she doesn't need to be up there. It's the same, equal, communication is back and forth equal and you just relax. The, the, the response will come when it comes. You, you know, you do not freak out if your best friend does not respond right away. You, you usually assume that person will respond when, when she can or he can when, when they have time. So do the same with your SP. Instead of immediately be in a state of panic, assuming all kind of horrible things where you're only going to self-reject, you think they're rejecting you, but really you are rejecting yourself with all those crazy thoughts and um you know make it neutral calm normal and you know how it feels like because you have experienced it with other people so you you kind of go back in that state feel it dwell on it and say yeah this is how it is this is that's normal so sp boom same category exactly and if you're like me i talk to myself yeah. And if I'm anxious about something, I'll sit down and I'll be like, okay, so what's making me so anxious about this? And then it'll be like, you know, for instance, I was going to this networking event and I was anxious about it for some reason. And I was like, why am I so anxious about this? And then immediately I thought to myself, well, it's because I'm worried about what people would think about me. And then all of a sudden I was like, well, you know what though? Everyone's you pushed out, Amanda, and your thoughts create. So what do you want them to think about you? So then I went and I listed all these things I wanted people to think about me and what I would experience in this networking event, what I would see, hear, and feel. And then all of a sudden the anxiety just magically lifted. And I went to that networking event and that's exactly what happened. So, you know, have those moments, like ask yourself, okay, what's making me anxious right now? Why am I worried about being rejected? Right. And then, you know, take those things and change them into what you want to feel and experience instead, because the only real thing we have right now is our thoughts right now in the present moment. That's the only thing that's real. And in a second, a month, a week, a day, you're going to experience what thoughts you're having right now. So, you know, when you do have feelings like, you know, anxiousness, nervousness, feeling like you're going to be rejected. Okay. Ask yourself what thoughts are causing these feelings and those feelings, those thoughts 
are get, need to be changed, right? And, you know, take some time. Me, myself, sometimes I'll dump it out on paper. I'll be like, okay, why is this bothering me? What are all the thoughts that are like that are bothering me about this? I write them out, I look at it, and I'm like, okay, boom, let's put the new thoughts out, change them all, rip up the old ones, and I move on. And it works like a charm every single time just to acknowledge what's, you know, roaming around in there. And you find it's only one or two really big thoughts, right? And remember, you know, everyone's you pushed out. So they're going to think what you want to think. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to text them. They're going to think I'm annoying. Okay, well, do you want to create that? Is that living from the end of being in a relationship? Or is that living from the end of rejection, right? Like, for instance, I mean, I'm with Andrew. I mean, he was upstairs yesterday. I was downstairs. He was in his office. I phoned him. And I didn't think he's going to be annoyed at me. I didn't want to walk up the stairs. So I phoned him. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so you want to be in that state where your thoughts are, no, they want to hear from me, you know? And in fact, I'll just think about somebody and then they'll text me, phone me. And it's like, of course, there they are. You know what I mean? As long as I don't have that anxiety of, you know, oh, they don't want to talk to me or they're going to think I'm annoying or I'm bothering them or what happens if they reject me, right? So identify what thoughts are causing those unwanted feelings, right? Yes, and then always support all your affirmations um, with it, what it is that you want from, let's say, communication here. You know, SB loves to hear from me. SB is always secretly so excited when uh, you know, he or she receives a text from me. You just try to really make it exciting almost where you suddenly really change your state. You know, that, that anxiety has to be completely counteracted. So um, our communication is what makes us be happy throughout the day. And then, you, you know, the more you say this to yourself, it becomes your truth and you dissolve all that anxiety. Just know, know that it's safe, that SP is excited, is always so happy to hear from you. He or she is always so happy to hear from you and, and live absolutely in that end. Exactly. We're gonna be on our mental diets, unfortunately. <laughs> I used to say some days easier than others, but I'm not every day. It's easy for me to stay on a mental diet that is in line with what I want, you know, and I think a few more affirmations, you know what, my SP always texts me every morning before I text them. Every time I think about them, they always text me or call me. Um, they're always like posting sweet messages on my social media wall for me. Um, yeah, like really, what do you want to see here and feel, you know, that's going to make you feel good. Let's start throwing that out there as well, you know, and, um, you know, and really, you know, and enjoying those thoughts, right? And, you know, it's just a matter of catching yourself. Like we used to do like um, in NLP, there was like a pattern interrupt, like elastic on your arm. And I did this at first when I started a mental diet. And then every time you have a negative thought, like pull it. So anyways, I got sick of hurting myself because it actually really hurts. But I mean, you know, it's a matter of, it catching yourself when you're ruminating and saying, okay, no, no, my thoughts create, okay, I'm just going to change these right now. And, you know, even like, I know, I don't know if anyone else is like me where at one o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden you're wide awake and worrying about everything in the world, you know, and in, even at those times at night, you know, I just soothe myself with intentions and I say, okay, Amanda, no, you know what, your thoughts create, we need to get these on track, right? You know, and it's just a matter of catching yourself and, you know, realizing that when you do catch yourself and change your thoughts, you're going to feel better pretty much instantly, right? So, yeah, I can't stress a mental diet enough. <laughs> no, absolutely. And like you said, you you go back to calm yourself down to the to the theory, to the, the basics. Thoughts create. The law is the law. That's how it works. There's no way around it. So, okay, what am I thinking? Oh, I'm afraid to text. I'm not I'm not accepted. I am. I'm the last person SP wants to, to, to write to, 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 to contact. No, 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 no. Why are you rejecting yourself? Why are we, we have to catch ourselves, you know, scaring ourselves all day long. We have those thoughts. So is that thought making me feel good or is it scaring me? And boom, there, you know, which way you have to go. If it's scaring you, write it down, like Amanda said, and then, create a beautiful affirmation that supports what it is that you want, what you want to see, 
what you want to receive, the communication you want to receive. SP loves and adores to receive my messages. I am the favorite person, SP. Uh, I'm his favorite person to, te to text to, to write to, to communicate with. And so on goes the list. He always texts me first. She always texts me first. Yeah, tells me how much they love talking with me, hearing from me, how I'm their favorite person, you know? I mean, all those wonderful things, you know? If your thought makes you feel good, then it's a good thought to keep, right? So remember your thoughts do create your emotions. So, you know, watch what thoughts you you actually entertain. And I, just one last thing I wanted to mention, you know, I know some people have said, no, your emotions create your thoughts, but I mean, that's not true. If I was to sit here and think that Jerry, you know, is just disrespectful and he's always lying to me, you know, that makes me quite upset just thinking about that. But if I was to think, oh no, Jerry was just mistaken. He didn't know the full story. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't understand or he doesn't know the person or he got it totally wrong. Now, when I think of that, that doesn't make me so upset. So remember your thoughts create your emotions. So if you're not sure what you're thinking, check into your emotions. And, you know, if you are feeling not so great, then you know what, start getting on top of your thoughts. You can even say things like, I feel comfortable um, about, you know, texting my SP. I feel comfortable um, when they text me. I feel like he wants to be with me, you or she wants to be with me. You can use and intend how you feel. I intend to feel satisfied. I intend to feel excited. I intend to feel like, you know what, this relationship is going so well. You can call those feelings in and manifest them. It's great. I do it all the time. I'm like, I intend to feel satisfied, good and excited and happy and energetic today. And then boom. Okay. So you guys know how my afternoon's going to go now. <laughs> Yeah, and if you don't believe that um, thoughts create emotion, just look at children. Your child mm -hmm. falls down, it hurts uh, himself, and he starts crying. You show up with his favorite toy, the focus is shifting shifting now to, oh my God, my favorite toy, and boom, he stopped crying. He's not really thinking about what just happened. So I think children are the best example in terms of you know, how thoughts really dictate our emotions and they can change just like this in an instant. So remind yourself that once you are a child, you can still do it, do the same, focus on what makes you happy, focus on what makes you feel good. And, uh, you know, when you, if you, if you want to receive that text and you still don't really believe it, you kind of tell yourself a little story. And as you tell the story, you know, each affirmation is something that makes you feel good then you can notice your entire stage shifting from being desperate being rejected not accepted to oh yeah oh yeah and i feel better and i feel better now i feel really good yeah that's the way it's got to be and that's exactly what happened to my client after our session when she finally you know was back to a confident good state where she felt like yes of course that's that text that communication exists and she did get it throughout the night. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So remember everyone's you pushed out mental diet. So how to live in the end, I intend that everybody's got a way better understanding of it. You know, check every thought, is it living in the end of what you want or is it living in the end of what you don't want? A good question to ask yourself is, is if I had what I wanted right now, would I be having this thought? And if the answer is no, then the thought needs to change. So it's gonna take a little bit of analyzing your thoughts minute to minute. And um, there's really not that much work that goes into it because there's only a few thoughts that are probably tripping you up, right? And I know from experience. And yeah, just change them, be aware of it, change them. And before you know it, you will be manifesting what you want easily and effortlessly. So thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, everybody. And I intend for everybody to get this avalanche of communication. Yes, I <laughs> intend to see that in the comments. <laughs> I think that's so exciting. Well, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.